everyone welcome back to another of my videos so it's like 9 30 and i just ended a vlog that i had started yesterday i was um decluttering and reorganizing my makeup collection I'll give you a sneak peek um in a little second but i'll have the video linked in the description um but i have a lot to do today this vlog is going to be very like pet shop related i have loads of orders to pack because i ran out of the packaging i use for my treat I ran out because i've had so many orders recently it took about a week for the packaging to actually arrive um so i got it yesterday and i'm so happy so now i can start packing some orders um i won't be able to pack all the orders today because i'm still waiting on some more boxes to arrive um but i'm glad i can actually start doing something now I just hate it when you're trying to be productive and then something happens and then everything just has to stop i thought i would show you guys my makeup collection because i'm really happy with how i organized it this took me hours um i also sorted out three other drawers in my alex nine drawers if you want to see what those look like um check out my video that's just that and cashmere is away what are you eating oh she's eating a whimsy stew show you what the drawers look like at the moment this drawer isn't so bad but i haven't started packing orders yet um i've got some more of these bowls arriving i've got like 10 i think i've got some more spoons arriving um i don't think i have any more of these food dishes arriving but i might need to order some the drawer is just terrible it's so empty and it's going to be really empty once i actually pack orders um but like i said i've got more stock arriving in a couple of days and then in here is basically the treat drawer um i did move this around a little bit just like the stuff that was in the jars um so the millet spray and the whimsies chews are now at the back they used to be down here at the front i've got pork and cookies so i baked all of these a couple of days ago they don't look that good because i was having a bad baking day everything was just going wrong when i was trying to decorate the cookies and i just wanted to get them done so these are not the nicest looking paw print cookies like with the paw prints i think i could have done a lot better um and then we've got the beetroot ones i finally made a few so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get my laptop out and start sorting through what orders i can actually um pack today i'm gonna start from the oldest orders that i've had and work my way up to the most recent one so i've just checked and i have 18 orders in total which is insane because i am like a tiny bit behind um but like i said once the packaging comes in and once um i get like those parcels in within the next couple of days and i've actually sent everything off then i will be back on track um but you know this happens sometimes and if you've ever run a business before then you would know not everything goes like smoothly um there are some things that happen which uh then lead you to be behind by like a week or so or maybe even longer but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and get started this first order i have to do now has four products and they are all treats so here's some of the packaging I was talking about um, the different ones that I do in here is a hamster box that's already packed this one is for September and um, so it's already got all the items in here this is the same box I showed you guys in one of my previous videos so this box is going to be going to someone I just need to add in one more item and the tissue paper business cards make it look all pretty and all of that and then this box is ready to go so here's everything that's going in the first order um they basically just ordered um four different types of treats which is really nice to see so this next order was just for two lots of treats um OT nibbles whole wheat beetroot and the vanilla paw print cookies so for this particular order i'm going to be using one of these bubble mailers because these two are pretty small items i'm just going to go ahead and pack this so i've got quite a biggish order to pack i've just put together all the treats from my brand and there's four and now i've got the rest of the items to pick i need a green polka dot bowl i'm gonna bubble wrap this in a second i also wanted some heart spoons i also wanted one of these treats the fennel one i think all that's left is fennel um i normally have dandelion and berries but i only have fennel left so in this next drawer they wanted one of these playgrounds a rainbow bread and one of these bottom breaker shredder log shoes so i'm gonna go ahead and bubble wrap the bowl and then organize this box so here's everything packed nicely and just gonna pop some 
bubble wrap on the top so all the items are protected this box is actually going all the way to america this next order is for um ocean nibbles whole wheat and two brown food dishes on the website um you might be wondering why it says like the three different colors you can get pink brown or blue you can pick the color and then there's also an option to get a damaged bowl so you might be wondering why why would i want to get a damaged bowl? but when it says damage it normally means there's like a slight mark on it people still order them um so the problem with this one is that it's got a few specs on it um and i think that is about it but sometimes the pattern's printed a bit funny or sometimes it's got a slight dent um nothing major but it's something i wouldn't like to sell as a full price product because it has a mark so it is marked down it's a little bit cheaper um let me show you what this one looks like um so let me see what was wrong with this one all right so this one it just has a little lump i don't even know if you can see it just there tiny little lump um and i think that was all that was wrong with this bowl really just the lumps on it which isn't anything major so this is this order complete it's quite a small one um i just need to go ahead and bubble wrap these two bowls this is like two layers of bubble wrap um just to ensure that they don't arrive broken so here's another order this one is for two of the ocean nibbles this is the whole wheat original one this is just the original and some vanilla popcorn cookies and they also want um, a pack of spoons so this is their whole order so i'm just putting together an order for a gal who used to go to my college um she was in animal care and when i started she was in her second year and she's ordered for me a couple of times um so it was really nice to see her name again because i think she's left now so she's ordered two lots of these carrot chews these are really good my hamsters love these and these are also in um the september hamster boxes as well these are the fruit and nut treats that you guys can buy on my website i do need to make another mix very soon because i think i'm running low on that so here's just the bubble wrap and this order is ready to be sealed so here's some more treats for another order i'm just doing so we've got a pack of ocean nibbles um original beetroot uh whimsy's shoes and two packs of banana bite i've almost finished doing um all of the orders for today i think i've got about two to three more left to do and then there's a couple that i won't be able to do until i get more boxes or a certain item in but that's only a handful of orders so this order i'm doing now wants uh chocolate drops yogurt drops they want the biscuits with bite but they want the one with carrot um i might be discontinuing these treats because i feel like not a lot of people buy them um so once these ones sell out i think i'm going to discontinue them let's just put those there they also want one of the jelly pots and a woody's caterpillar I need to get some more of these jelly pots in as well there's only two more so this is their entire order so this is the second to last order i need to do and i'm so happy because i'm really really hungry so i'm gonna go and get something to eat once i'm done um so they've just ordered whole wheat beetroot and um, oaty nibble as well as these whimsies chews they want these bunny treats uh these are the herb ones so one of these so here's the four items that they ordered so this is the last order i've had to pack i literally just got another order in for a hamster box literally just a couple of seconds ago um but i won't be able to pack that one just yet so i've done 12 orders in total it's probably taken me about two hours maybe two hours and a bit so i'm going to finish off this and then show you guys how messy my room gets all right so i've just finished packing all of the orders i'm so happy i've got some food in the oven but i need to sort out my room every time i pack orders my room just turns into a complete mess no matter how organized and set out i try to be uh it just ends up being really messy so i'm going to show you guys what i now have to tidy up so i've got some rubbish on the floor there i've got to put my laptop away I have to put packaging away all of the treats and i've got a bunch of orders on the floor there I've got a bag of bubble wrap and stuff so i need to go ahead and sort this out so i've also got a parcel that i was waiting for so i'm really excited to open it up because it's got some more stock in there it's quite a small parcel so there isn't like a huge amount i don't remember ordering a lot actually what is that parcel um then i'm gonna have to do a stock count and put the items um in stock on my website so that's something else for me to do
So I've just finished tidying my room and it's looking a lot better now. So I'm just gonna quickly show you guys how my room's looking and my timer is going off because my food is ready. So as you can see, my room is back to normal, nice and tidy. The parcel is just a load of um, hamster dishes. These are the ones with the hamsters on them. So what I always need to do whenever I receive these is just open them up, check them over, see which ones are damaged, which ones are fine. So it's now the next day, it's coming up to 10.30 and I've just finished doing my first post office trip so I'm just about to start marking those orders as shipped. So I'm just about to post this picture on my Instagram stories. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram then you definitely should. So this is the name of my account, so this is my pet account, let me turn up the brightness a bit. So this is my pet account, as you can see there's those of cute pictures of cashmere and cupcake. If you really enjoy my hamster videos then you can keep up to date with the hamsters on my Instagram. Um, I try and post as much as possible. And this is my personal account if you guys want to go ahead and follow that. My accounts are very 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 pink themed because um, you know I'm obsessed with pink. I actually just got back from the post office not too long ago because I went back out again for a second time to post off the rest of the orders um, so I need to go ahead and mark them as shipped. I'm expecting a few pet parcels um, within the next couple of days. So good morning you guys it's actually been a couple of days since I last vlogged and spoke to you guys. Thought I'll just sit down and have a quick chit chat with you. Um, so my plan for this video was to kind of pack all the orders that I need Needed to do um, and get them sent out and then I was and I'm also expecting a few parcels um, and I was gonna do like an unboxing and stuff and then um, like putting stock away and showing you like all the new bits that I've got you know just one of my typical kind of videos that I do on my channel um, but I haven't received any stock yet so that's really really annoying um, and I really wanted to get this video out like as soon as possible so I'm going to save all the stock and that for another vlog and then I'm going to round this vlog up today um, so there is one order that I can actually pack so I'm gonna go and do that in a little bit after I talk to you guys about a few things um, so I need to do like seven orders but I'm literally waiting on this stock to arrive I'm gonna quickly talk to you guys about college I haven't really had a chance to properly sit down and really talk with you about what I'm going to be doing and uh, now that I finished my now that I finished my first year of animal care I haven't really touched on that subject since I did a vlog back in July letting you guys know that I've actually finished my first year of animal care management um I was doing level three um I get a lot of people ask me like um what level I was doing or what my course was called but it was animal care management level three um and my course is like you can do one year or you can do two years it's optional the first year you cover all of the basic lessons so things like animal handling animal behavior zoology nutrition animal health all really really interesting my least favorite was nutrition um but there were some parts of it that were interesting if you was learning about a particular animal um i'm really into uh like hamster nutrition obviously i love hamsters i'm going to be doing the second year and i start next week I had about nine weeks of college it's gone so quick it only feels like it's been four weeks but so much has happened um and i've just been enjoying the time off been able to create a lot more youtube videos i've been more active on my instagram been more active with my business and it's just going to be really sad to not be as focused on it again once i get back to college um obviously i'll still be doing everything but it just won't be like as much because i'm going to have a lot of coursework to do so i am doing my second year i don't know what lessons i'm going to be having just yet and in the second year you can actually pick your lessons if you're wondering how the grading works um with the course i was doing the grades are pass merit and distinction and distinction star if you're doing your coursework you can choose to just do all the passes or the merits or all the distinctions when i was doing my work i done all of the distinctions i actually got my certificate in the post um I think it was last week and I was so 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 happy and so proud of myself because I got a double distinction star it was my goal that I wanted to achieve because I worked so 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 hard um, on that course I put so much 
I put so much effort into it and I tried my best to finish on time as well which I managed to do so that I could enjoy uh, nine weeks off college um, it was really stressful because I would stay behind college for like an extra hour and then I would go home and then continue to do work up until like 11 o'clock at night go bed late and then go to college the next day spend my weekends doing work for hours and hours and hours and you know I just put a lot of effort into my college course because it just means so much to me and the hard work did pay off so I'm really happy about that so with me doing the second year I am going to aim for a distinction again so fingers crossed it all goes well so this next topic I want to quickly talk about is Christmas I know a lot of you are probably thinking oh my god like we've literally just finished summer and you're talking about Christmas but honestly I'm not the only one that's talking about Christmas already and it is kind of important because whenever it gets to this time of year when it's like um towards the end of summer end of summer going on to autumn um the next thing on our minds is you know christmas um the reason why i want to talk about this now because i'm a very organized person as well business wise i know that on my shop i am going to have christmas items um last year i didn't stock any christmas items because i didn't have the pet shop page on my website it was just hamster boxes um so i did do christmas hamster boxes um but obviously um if i'm going to do that i need to start um, selling them a little bit earlier so people can get their boxes in time for Christmas or in time for December to decorate their cages for the month. I'm just really looking forward to doing them and instead of pink tissue paper I put in red tissue paper to make it more Christmassy and I like to put like candy canes and stuff in there. I didn't last year because last year I was just so busy with college. I was so unorganised with boxes. Everything was just like all over the place but I did manage to get boxes out pretty quickly. I sent off all Christmas boxes by like early December and I didn't do any orders for the whole month. So another thing I want to discuss really quickly is Vlogmas. Um, if you don't know what Vlogmas is even though you probably do know what Vlogmas is um, but for those of you who don't know what it is it's basically where YouTubers vlog from the 1st of December up until the 24th or some people vlog all the way until the 25th Christmas day um, so it's basically a vlog a day some people like film on the first and then get their video up on the first but I'm one of those people who like to like film it on the first and then get it up on the second so it's a day late and you basically just do a vlog every single day up until Christmas I think vlogmas is a load of fun I love watching other people's vlogmas and I really enjoy um, doing vlogmas myself I've done it for the past two years um, so I've done it in 2016 2017 um i don't know if you guys uh watched it but um i'm just debating whether i should do it this year please let me know in the comments last year i didn't really like how vlogmas turned out like once i got into like the second week i think the vlogs were a bit more um enjoyable and obviously christmas eve and christmas day and i felt like i didn't have much hamster related stuff to show last vlogmas whereas in 2016 i did a lot more hamster based things for each of the days and therefore those videos got more views um with my vlogmas from last year most of those videos didn't even reach a thousand views and i just think vlogmas is so stressful having to film and edit every single day like i was up till late every single night editing vlogs trying to get them up and then i feel like you do all of that hardly anyone watches them so i'm just debating should i do vlogmas this year or not but if i do decide to do vlogmas this year i will try and include more hamster related stuff um because during vlogmas i don't like to film any other videos in december apart from straight vlogs so for those of you guys who just enjoy my videos in general and you watch all my videos then vlogmas is just like a dream come true because it's a video every single day for the whole month but there are some of you who literally just come for cage cleaning videos or like just straight up hamster videos and most of you just don't care what i eat for breakfast or what skincare products i'm using or what makeup products i'm using or what i'm wearing for the day um and that is just generally what vlogmas tends to include uh, but like i said please let me know in the comments if you would like me to do vlogmas this year um i will try and make it as fun as possible um i know we're only in september but i do like to sort of plan ahead the last thing i have to actually share with you guys before i go ahead and pack um the order that i want to show you is this phone case it was sent to me by a company called ideal sweden if you guys follow me on instagram then you would have already seen this case doing a collaboration with me over on instagram but i thought i'll just show you guys on 
YouTube anyway because I have a discount code for you to get 20% off anything on their website. So Ideal Sweden, they're basically a company sell a lot of accessories for electronics. So you can get phone cases. They don't only do iPhones. They do Samsung and I think one or two other phones as well. They do covers for MacBooks. They do charger and a few other accessories that you guys might find useful. I got a chance to pick a phone case. So obviously I showed the pink one and this is just a pink marbled case. This looks amazing on my phone. I've just put it back in the packaging so I can show you guys how the case arrives. So you basically just slide it out like that. It's so cool. And then you just take the case out and then there's a bit of plastic on there and there's their social medias and you just take all of that out. And then inside is a really nice sort of soft velvet material. The cases are such Good quality just gonna go ahead and take off this donut phone case now i was so happy when they actually let me pick a phone case because i absolutely love their company and i was in need of a new phone case at the back of each and every one of the phone cases it says ideal of sweden and gold at the bottom this feels really nice to hold i don't really like chunky phone cases but a lot of different styles and if you're into marble then definitely have a look on their website because they have so many different marble cases it was really difficult for me to choose just one case there was quite a few that i liked and it took me a couple of days to decide um but i'm really happy with my decision so i can't actually pack this order because they want the beetroot flavored paw print cookies and i don't actually have any in stock i've only got the original vanilla ones left at the moment it's okay because i am going to be baking some more stuff tomorrow or the day after tomorrow so i received two things from furnishables a couple of days ago and i'm just so excited to share these with you guys so if you're familiar with my channel then you would know who furnishables are if you don't they're basically a company who sell static cling stickers for pet cages and i have been collaborating with them since february and they very kindly send me out some of their stickers every couple of months so these are the ones that they sent me this is one of their most recent ones to tropical beach theme which i did in in my monthly boxes last month for summer and back in February they did send me these two packs let's go camping and mountain resort and they're always bringing out new collections this is what they look like on the pet cages this is the Valentine's pack and they're really cool because you can just peel them off it doesn't leave anything on the cage and you can just stick it back on again and they're reusable as you can see furnishables have changed their packaging I think this is only temporary as you can see this pack is autumn themed and I absolutely love autumn and i think this pack is absolutely adorable i think the fox is so cute and i love the little pumpkin so i'm going to be giving cupcake a autumn themed cage within a couple of weeks i'm really looking forward to that um i don't have a lot of autumn stuff but i do have this pumpkin it is more like halloween but i'm just going to use a lot of green and orange things whatever i have so I'm super excited to try this out. I'm not entirely sure what this collection is called because it doesn't have the name on it like these ones do and I can't quite remember so I apologise for that. And this is the second one they sent me. So they're actually doing individual um, stickers now so you don't have to buy the whole entire pack and they're going to be doing like the normal size packs then they're going to be doing small packs and individual stickers so i think that's great so people don't have to buy the entire pack and the individual stickers range between one pound and one pound 90 if i'm correct this one is super cute it's a birthday cake they do have a birthday collection and there's like balloons and banners and it's so cute it's like pink and purple and i just think it looks so good thank you so much for sending me these furnishables and if you guys didn't know i actually have a discount code for them so i have that listed in the description so i am going to end today's vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed watching it if you did give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below don't forget to check out my instagrams i have two accounts one for me and one for my hamsters um they're always linked in the description don't forget to check out my shop as well and also don't forget to use my discount code uh for ideal sweden because it actually runs out on the 7th of september so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video anyway and i'll see you in my next vlog so bye for now always better when there's feelings involved If what they say that nothing is forever oh, The one makes, the one makes, the one makes, the one makes, the one makes love